How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I'm going to be playing against a Twitch streamer. I'm going to be making 87 overall Cal Ripken's debut in this one. I also am going to be starting 88 overall Ty Cobb, as well as I picked up the 87 overall Francisco Lindor, and pretty much the rest of the lineup is the same. And this opponent is in the World Series. He is a pretty good player. I would definitely check out his channel. If I were you, I will have it linked in the comment section down below. But to start off the game, I am getting a base hit with Ichiro. We're facing 99 overall Clayton Kershaw, who is amazing. The 99 overall Signature Series Clayton Kershaw is going to be the next card that I choose. I'm at a level 21, and I'm looking to uh, get to a level 40, and, and then I'll be able to redeem that card. But there I was able to do kind of a hit and run. It didn't really work out the way I planned. He did go to a slide step, and once I put the ball in play, I thought the center fielder, Kenny Lofton, was going to make the play, so I figured I would go back. Then I thought I was going to fall, so kind of a weird play there. Pablo Sanchez does fly out to center field, and he does throw to the cutoff man. I slid to the wrong part of the base there. I probably would have been thrown out anyway, but I am looking to be aggressive. I didn't realize that he had his creative player at shortstop, and uh, that's something that I have to keep in mind as well, where the arm strength is on the field. And uh, luckily, I was able to get a base knock with Frank Thomas. Uh, it is kind of an error. It's off the third baseman. It counted as an error, but it was hit pretty hard, and that is a kind of a tough play to make with a uh, silver or bronze fielder over there at third base. I believe that was Jose Ramirez. And then Ty Cobb is sending one into center field, so I wasn't able to capitalize there on the first inning on a few base hits. But now we have Cy Young on the mound. I throw a fastball inside to Kenny Lofton, and I really want to make sure I use that fastball just because Cy Young does have three different breaking balls. I know that this opponent's going to be on it as he rips a base hit down the third base line with Mookie Betts. Able to keep him from getting to second base there as Andrew Jones does get the ball in. And now we're facing 99 overall Tony Gwynn. This is his signature series player. And he hits a flare to left field. Andrew Jones is going to be able to make the play. And Mookie Betts is advancing to second base, so I am able to back pick him there. Both of us are being aggressive early in this game. Now I have Francisco Lindor up at the plate, and I'm looking to uh, start something off with another base hit. Unfortunately, I hit it right to the second baseman. The barrel of the bat was kind of on that one, but the PCI wasn't really on that one. I wasn't expecting anything. And now in the debut at bat with Cal Ripken, I squared that one up, but unfortunately it's hit hard right to the right fielder. And even though it was low and away, I waited back on it, hit it to right field. It was He was able to track that one down with 99 overall Tony Gwynn. I can't wait to get that card. I, uh, I'm really between Joe Morgan, Tony Gwynn, and Duke Snyder for my next choice. I don't really necessarily know who to choose as of right now but anyway did get the strike out there now we're facing joe torrey who is a pretty good power hitting catcher and i uh, go with the fastball inside i'm able to get him with strike one there it is important to get ahead especially with runners in scoring position if i'm able to sneak in a pitch on the corner to start off that bat that's important and here i kind of go through a sequence of pitches i went with the fastball inside a sweeping curve away that kind of caught too much of the plate and then i went back to the hard stuff mixing it up there with cy young Definitely a great pitcher, and if I'm able to locate with him, he is tough to hit on Legend difficulty. But I would say that this signature series, Kershaw, is a little bit tougher to hit. There I went with the fastball inside. He was sitting on that one in the next inning, and Andrew Jones is unable to make the play. I should have tried to coast into that ball icon. That is 100% user error. Even though I did stop directly right on the ball, I, it was a, at a point where the fielder wasn't really even looking at the ball. I needed to coast into that one and kind of get an animation. This is one where you can kind of post up and, and get right under it and catch it. There's just different fly balls in this game, and the ones closer to the wall, you really have to kind of coast into them, it's even with diamond fielders out there. But anyway, I am ripping a base hit. A little bit late on that fastball up and away, but I did get the barrel of the bat to that one, and that's going to be a base knock, an extra base hit down the right field line brings up Ty Cobb and the opponent threw a dot of a sinker right there that was just a tremendous pitch he got me looking I was looking for a pitch up and in but I was trying to lay off that one I thought it was above the zone and it did drop down into the zone at the last second there but uh, luckily I got away with that one it was kind of a hanging curveball over the middle of the plate and I was able to uh, get the ground out. Francisco Lindor is playing second base. I moved Ben Zobers to the bench as kind of a utility player. Haven't been hitting the best with him, but here we are with Cal Ripken Jr. up once again, and he is able to rip a base hit down the right field line. Uh, unfortunate that it's Tony Gwynn out there, but at the same time, I thought he was going to be able to get to that ball and uh, catch it for an out. I am able to get a base knock in 87 overall Cal Ripken's debut. But then the very next batter, Andrew Jones, even though I waited on that one, squared it up, it was hit right to the second baseman, a ground ball double play. Unfortunate, and I kind of run myself out of an inning in that last one. But with Cy Young with the gold bar of confidence, he's definitely cruising here in the bottom of the fifth inning, looking pretty good, facing Joe Torre here. And I got the strike out there with the changeup low in the zone. 
uh, just just under the zone. This opponent was had a pretty good eye. He was taking a, a lot of pitches, and he was playing a pretty good game. So far, it's 0-0 in the bottom of the fifth inning, and we both still have our ace on the mound in 99 Signature Series, Kershaw and Cy Young. Two very good pitchers. I'm really looking forward to getting uh, Kershaw and Nolan Ryan to add to my rotation, so that way I'll have Cy Young as my three pitcher. That will definitely be um, a couple nice additions to the team. But anyway, I am facing Kenny Lofton here in the bottom of the sixth inning. This card is really a good card. I'm, I really want to get this card, and I'm going for him. That's why I bought Francisco Lindor. I'm trying out this Cal Ripken Jr. I'll end up selling him and picking up Jose Ramirez because it gives you a variety of good diamonds as well as Kenny Lofton, who's one of the best outfielders to this point in the game. He's the best collection, I believe. And the Indians have a pretty good team. I don't necessarily think Jose Ramirez is getting a downgrade, even though he is hitting all right in real life. He's not hitting the best, but there are the opponents trying to steal with Kenny Lofton. I am able to get a great animation there with Pablo Sanchez. I throw the runner out, trying to steal second there, and I still have the goal bar of confidence with Cy Young. I'm looking to, to uh, attack Tony Gwynn now that they are two outs in the inning. There isn't a chance that he can really score a run unless he hits a home run, so I'm looking to challenge him. Now in the top of the seventh, I have Frank Thomas up at the plate. He throws a pitch over the middle of the plate. PCL is kind of under it, but Frank Thomas is sending out his first home run for me. That's going to be a no-doubter. That's the first home run I hit online with Frank Thomas. Definitely a good card, and what do you know? It's hit the other way. I have, haven't really been pulling the ball all that much successfully with Frank Thomas, but he definitely is a great hitter. But there, Ty Cobb is flaring one into center field. A lot of uh, good week, late hits. Uh, late good hits just depending on the uh, feedback there I squared one up and it was a line out right to the second baseman a lot of flares with some high contact high vision players in uh, Pablo Sanchez had one I believe there Cal Ripken's hitting one off the pitcher Kershaw's in, unable to make the play but Ty Cobb had one Ichiro had one in the beginning of the game he had a couple uh, uh, nice line drives just out of my infielders reach and that's gonna happen I mean this game that's how the game is played there's not as many home runs hit and there's a lot more uh, base hits. You kind of have to string together those base hits. You have to go with a different meta. I can understand how uh, the game is a little bit different in this year's game. And I'm trying to adjust still. I've only played a few games on Legend. I went ahead and brought in Chipper Jones for a pinch hitter. I did take Cy Young out of the game just because I was trying to kind of break the game open in that last situation. However, I probably should have left him in. I mean, I didn't get a base hit, so that's obvious but at the same time he did have the gold bar of confidence i was pitching extremely well with him and now i have felipe vasquez in the game i'm facing freddie freeman i'm up by one run and the opponent rips one down the ba down the right field line that's going to be a base knock for him and i was surprised by that lefty lefty swing i'm surprised he didn't go to a pinch hitter in that situation but he did get a base knock then i threw a pitch right over the middle of the plate unfortunate there as jose ramirez does send it to the right side there as an it was a nice base hit and then I brought in Johnny Venters one too many pitches over the middle and uh, he sends that one out for a three run shot it's unfortunate I definitely choked in that inning it, but at the same time if I would have left Cy Young in I might have been able to uh, pitch this game successfully a complete game shutout I don't know I don't necessarily know I can't look back now I have to try and chip away right here Pablo Sanchez grounds out there to end the inning it's unfortunate as I have, I'm down to my last few outs in this game. Kenny Lofton is now going to send one deep, so I gave one, I gave one up to Kenny Lofton there. A home run off the top of the wall that goes out. That was a pitch up in the zone. I had been throwing a lot of pitches up in the zone, a lot of hard fastballs up in the zone, and he squared that one up with Kenny Lofton. But uh, Frank Thomas is having himself a game there, facing Goose Gossage. And I started off this inning with a base hit. That's pretty important as Goose is looking to close this one out. Now we have Ty Cobb up. I brought in Willie Mays to pinch run for Frank Thomas just because I need every possible run I can get. And luckily I did because he sends one into the gap. That's going to be a triple. 92 speeds coming all the way around to score. And now it's a 4-2 game with another guy on third base with still nobody out in the inning. He went ahead and took out Goose Gossage. He brought in Craig Kimbrell. Now we have Francisco Lindor up at the plate. 3-2 and two count. I drew the walk there on the knuckle curve. Now we have our debut guy up, Cal Ripken Jr., who does have two hits in the game. One of the hits is kind of weird off Clayton Kershaw. He didn't really make the play. And I got a check swing there. I wish I would have hit that. If I would have swung and squared that one up, it might have been a base knock. But anyway, I am scoring the run and no double play in that situation. Now I brought in Ronald Acuna. He went to Araldis Chapman out of the bullpen and got the big strike out there. That cannot happen, especially when I'm trying to make this comeback. It's a 4-3 game now with Ichiro up at the plate. 
a 1-0 pitch there I went with the, I got a check swing he goes with a slider low and away and this is an intense situation if I get a base knock I have a chance to score that run at second base and I also have a chance to take the lead with the guy on first base if I send one into the gap so on a 3-0 count I'm looking to uh, take a couple strikes here he has he's having a little bit of trouble locating with some pitches and he throws a slider away that's gonna be ball four and now we have Jose Reyes up I went ahead and brought in Trevor Story in a 1-0 count an 0-1 count my mistake now it's a 1-1 he, he was having a tough time locating so I'm trying to take a pitch until he throws one over the middle that I can hit and uh, there was a fastball at 100 miles an hour Araldus Chapman on legend difficulty is extremely tough to face I'm looking for something off speed like a hanging slider or a fastball up in the zone he goes with the change up and now it's a three and one count the game tying run a three and one I'm looking for something and now when I had to swing at it it might have been ball four it was a little bit low but at this point I'm not trying to draw a walk I'm trying to knock a base hit and try and win this game or take the lead there with Trevor Story I flew out to center field it's an unfortunate way to end that game I felt like I was kind of on that one I was a little bit late didn't really pull the ball but definitely a good game all around. That opponent was a great player. Definitely check out his Twitch channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. It was pretty tough to face 99 overall signature series, Clayton Kershaw. But I am looking forward to picking that card up. Until next time, everyone, I'm College Lefty. Peace out.